and welcome to Justice. I'm Judge Jeanine Pirro. Thanks for being with us tonight. First, my opening statement. Now, which America is it that you see? It's real simple, and it's not about your eyesight. Our convention occurs at a moment of crisis for our nation. The attacks on our police and the terrorism of our cities threaten our very way of life. Any politician who does not grasp this danger is not fit to lead our country. And within hours, our president, as he stood with Mexican President Enrico Peña Nieto, comes out and says this. This vision of violence and chaos everywhere uh, doesn't really jive with the experience of most people. Strangely injecting himself into a presidential race, the president actually said Donald Trump's vision of America was wrong and says there's much less violence in America than 20 or 30 years ago. Now, I don't want to rain on your parade, Mr. President, but the number of firearms in the United States has doubled in the last 20 years. Maybe that's what's actually making us less violent, but I digress. And in a manner reminiscent of his reaction to the beheading of Americans, the president nonchalantly concedes, well, there might be an uptick in murders. Really? We are seeing enormous homicide increases in large cities like Milwaukee, Denver, Baltimore, St. Louis, Cleveland, Las Vegas, and even his own hometown of Chicago, where kids are so used to the report of a gun that they don't even run when they hear a gunfire. So let me see if I get this straight. An uptick or a rise in murders shouldn't worry me because violent crime is not on the rise. So if I'm murdered, I should thank God that my home wasn't burglarized? The president continues to paint a picture of birds chirping and children playing ring around the rosy as Donald Trump recounts children murdered by criminal illegal aliens. Nearly 180,000 illegal immigrants with criminal records ordered deported from our country are tonight roaming free to threaten peaceful citizens. No more. One more child to sacrifice on the order and on the altar of open borders. But Obama says immigration is much less a problem than how Donald Trump describes it. The rate of illegal migration into the United States today is lower by two-thirds than it was when Ronald Reagan was president. We have far fewer undocumented workers crossing the border today than we did in the 80s or the 90s or when George Bush was president. That's a fact. So the president disagrees with what Donald said also, probably because pursuant to his policies, illegals with criminal records have been released from prison. But the president says that immigration is much less a problem than it was just 20 or 30 years ago. He says the rate of illegal immigration into the United States today is lower by two-thirds than it was when Ronald Reagan was president. He says it's a fact that we have far fewer undocumented workers crossing the border today than we did in the 80s or 90s. Really, Mr. President, with all due respect, how do you know you've got Border Patrol agents changing kids' diapers during a mass influx from Central America? Agents whose hands are tied, which might explain why the National Border Patrol Council endorsed Donald Trump and not your protege. And by the way, how does one measure the number of illegals who cross our border? The ones who aren't caught can't be counted. So if the numbers are determined by those apprehended by Border Patrol, your policies and executive actions more than welcome them. 
You even give them a free plane ride into our towns, any town, USA. But even the United States Supreme Court had to block you when you tried to prevent the legal deportation of four million of them. And if the number is decided by those living here, again, how do you know? You're the one who keeps telling us that they're living in the shadows, so how are you counting them? But does Barack Obama even matter as we enter the general election period? It's really about Hillary Clinton, Tim, Tim Kaine, or Donald Trump and Mike Pence. Now, Hillary would make history as the first female president. Hillary Clinton promotes herself as an advocate for women and children, as a doer, as an experienced candidate. But Ivanka Trump made quite a different case. At my father's company, there are more female than male executives. Women are paid equally for the work that we do. My father will change the labor laws that were put in place at a time when women were not a significant portion of the workforce. And he will focus on making quality childcare affordable and accessible for all. The facts. In Hillary Clinton's family's foundation, women are not paid equally. In fact, they're paid 83 cents on the dollar that men make. And speaking of her foundation, she is notorious for taking money from countries where men have the legal right to beat their wives, where homosexual acts are punishable by death, where women are stoned for adultery. And so why is this self-proclaimed advocate for women taking the money from these countries and what do they get in return? The true facts? While a member of the United States Senate Hillary Clinton sponsored 363 bills. Of those, three became law. Three. One was a bill to name a post office. Another was a bill to rename a highway. Every bill that she sponsored for the betterment of women, for which there was always a tremendous amount of press, every one of them died. Take a look. Some effective legislator, ain't she? And that's a woman coming right out of the White House. But we should all applaud one of her successes. And that success? Senate Resolution 511 from the 109th Congress, commending and supporting Al Mahiba, the first and only radio station for the women of Iraq. Think her foundation got a check from anyone over there? And as to Tim Kaine, the man who received $160,000 worth of vacations, clothes, tickets, while his successor, Governor Bob McDonald, in the same state of Virginia, gets indicted and convicted of graft for gifts of $175,000, which conviction was overturned by the United States Supreme Court. I told you this before. The rules are different. The candidates have exact opposite opinions and positions. Someone is lying and someone is telling the truth. You've got a couple months to figure it out. And that's my open. Tell me what you think on my Facebook page or Twitter, hashtag Judge Janine.